Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I am here to bring you guys another tarot reading. I hope y'all are doing good. I feel good. All right, let's see what the universe has for my Scorpio boo boo. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and also North Node. Um, I always forget to mention that in every uh, video in the description box, um, there is a link for your birth chart. And there is also a link for seven videos that I've created on developing your psychic abilities, psychic spiritual abilities. So if you were ever curious about, you know, what numbers mean, the role between subconscious and conscious minds, the role of meditating, um, the uh, dreaming, everything is just out there. All right. But in the meantime, let's see what the good crunchy you has for my boo-boos. I feel like with the two of wands, I don't feel like you have a decision to make. But I feel like you're nearing the making of a decision, right? Um, two of Wands is trying to figure out which path, you know, which path to take going forward. Um, kind of feels like you have a lot of options. Um, I just heard somebody say any place is better than here. So I kind of feel like for many of you, um, yeah, you're coming from up under this Ten of Swords. Um, angels just also said to me too, a lot of you have been making sacrifices for everybody else under the sun. It's now time to make one for yourself. Now, two of cups, three of cups, lovers with naked people, the star, ten of swords, the uh, queen of pentacles and the king of wands. Yeah, I kind of feel like, um, you've been weighed down here lately by life right um yeah look at that tower oh sucky ducky two sixes yeah look at that look at that i don't want to brag but um i just said that i just said that you've been making sacrifices for everybody else but uh it's five of pentacles it's uh it's time to put yourself up top of the list I got the Queen of Pentacles here twice ooh 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 you're getting excited about the path forward um Angel said for a, um it's been a long time Scorpio since many of you have gotten excited period okay um I feel like the universe is about to send you a surge or burst of energy. Uh, King of Wands, Two of Wands, Six of Wands. So Wands represent movement and action and direction and path. Yeah, Scorpio, I kind of feel like a lot of you guys are about to get your mojo back. Now with this Queen of Pentacles here, I just kind of glanced over here to the double Queen of Pentacles. That's double stability, that's independence, that's financial freedom, that's, you know, um, financial status, right? Financial security. Um, I feel like that needs to be the goal. And I also feel like that's where many of you are headed. So I have my two of wands here with the queen of pentacles, sorry, with the wheel of fortune, right? So the universe is saying, listen, listen, follow your, follow your destiny right mm. <laughs> I'm hearing and it's not the the Michael Jackson version but I'm hearing the Wizard of Oz um, follow the follow the yellow brick the yellow brick road <laughs> not the he's on down he's on. all right anyway <laughs> but <laughs> there's a strong message here with the two of wands and the wheel of fortune that basically says, listen, going forward, there's got to be something in it for you because you're the only person living your life, by the way. Your cousin ain't living it. Your auntie ain't living it. Your granddaddy ain't living 
you the only one living your life. Um, I feel like the universe is wanting you to take a leap of faith in love. Um, I'm hearing with the tower and the three of cups, the universe is about to hit the jackpot in the love department, right? Six of wands with the lovers. The universe is saying to you, okay, like the guys at the airport who's steering the pilot out, the universe is like guiding you and directing you, Scorpio, keep going, keep going, keep going in love specifically. Star card. I feel like many of you are just ready for something new. Now, as I glance down here at these double sixes, angels just said, June. I feel like Scorpio, you're going to have a good ass June. Who is that in June? June is um, Gemini, Mercury, and Cancer, the moon, our cousins. Uh, Gemini is here. Cancer is not. Uh, oh yeah, there's Cancer right there. So Gemini and Cancer. Scorpio, you're about to have an amazing fucking June. Angels just said everything you lost, you're about to get back. And by the way, that's me speaking over your life. And basically what that means is, I don't care what you say, I don't even give a shit what you believe, it's gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, I feel like many of you, uh, it's almost like the universe saying to you, it's, it's okay to get excited and um, feel motivated about this next chapter, right? Whether it's a chapter in love, whether it's a chapter in business, whether it's a chapter in property, it's time for you to get excited. I got these old raggedy ass, uh, what do they call these cards? Waterproof. And these, they're just a bitch to shuffle. They all upside down. All right. Let's, let's see what funka ass messages <laughs> these cards have. What else do you have for Scorpio? Follow the path, follow their destiny. You know, it's funny because I'm hearing God in the universe saying, it's almost like you're the fool on this fool's journey, right? The fool is carefree. The fool is like naive. The fool is so hopeful. The fool is like, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm, I'm headed in that direction, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, you are embodying that beautiful fool's energy as in that it's almost like reliving a chapter or a period in your life where once upon a time you never got hurt once upon a time you were never abandoned right the fool is that beautiful 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 young naive energy innocent energy star card make a wish yeah angels just said to me too that this is a good time um, for manifesting. Y'all hear the parade of planets? What is it? June, what is it? Like May 27th through like June 2nd, 3rd or 4th. Six, six planets are going to be in alignment in um, the universe and you'll be able to see them. You know, different areas around the world will be able to see them. I don't know, for some reason, especially with the star card here twice, I kind of feel like the universe is guiding you towards more prosperity, more happiness, more joy, more love, more money, more material, right? And all you got to do, Scorpio, is float, float on, right? All you got to do is go with the flow, boo-boo, which is what the Wheel of Fortune is. Follow, follow the yellow brick, the yellow brick road. Ten of Wands. Okay, Ten of Wands is blockages and burdens. Okay, the devil, the dark energy, naked people, light energy, naked people. Some of y'all are afraid. Okay. Angel said, watch your uh, obsessiveness. Your obsessiveness could, um, your obsessiveness could 
come across as a block, okay? Your obsessiveness, as an example, is almost like, okay, you know, my lawyer said, you know, I won my case. I'm supposed to, ex you know, I'm expecting a payout the first week in June. Your obsessiveness says, don't wake up every day talking about, is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Calling your lawyer up, hitting, checking your bank account, right? That's being obsessive. So there's a, a slight warning there in just saying, for many of you, your obsessiveness um, may wind up blocking uh, this feeling or a blessing. Hierophant. That's the high priest. Yeah, you're praying for... Um, for many of you who are praying for soulmate, partner, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to, um, angels are saying your prayers have been answered. Eight of Pentacles. Now, oh, I love that eight. Look at that eight, how it glimmers. I got to hold that up. See all that back there? Isn't that pretty? Just, just a bang. It's like vibration, right? Eight of Pentacles is, you know, kind of getting down to the gritty and the nitty, the nitty gritty. You know, going within, um, connecting with your soul, your spirit. Um, this is weird because my angels just said learning to let things go as in forgive and maybe not forget, but forgive and move on, forgive and get past it, you know. Let bygones go sit over there in the corner. You know what I mean? Um, with the Hierophant and then the Eight of Pentacles, it kind of feels like a lot of you guys have been working on yourselves. And as part of working on yourselves, it could be, again, you letting go of, you know, some, some, some really interesting habits that were blocking you from um, a new chapter, a new beginning. Six of Pentacles. I feel like, okay, six, okay, that's the third six. So I have three sixes. Six times three is 18. One and eight is nine. Nine is fulfillment, right? I really do feel like for a lot of you, right? The Ten of Swords is here. And then I have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is the straw that broke the camel's back, this Ten of Swords. And I feel like this Ten of Swords, it's almost like what got you here was kind of like blocking your own desires, blocking your own blessings, blocking your own wishes. You know what I mean? So Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles Ten of Swords kind of says, listen, Scorpio, you need to stop giving attention to shit that ain't giving shit to you. Okay. So it's almost like you, you you need to get your nose out of other folks' business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. My angels said, yeah, some of them are living other people's lives. And, and an example of that is your kids. You know what I mean? Your parents. I told y'all y'all need to sell this house and downsize. This is too much house for you. It's like, baby, go, go on back over to your one-bedroom apartment. Right? Like, you know, okay. All right. I'm moving on. Uh, Knight of Cups. Ooh, good. Movement. Two of Pentacles. Options and choices. So two, two, two. And I got six, six, and six. Two and six is eight. Eight is power. Ooh, nice. Yeah, Scorpio, it's time for you to reconnect or connect with something that you love to do. I feel like the universe is putting two paths um, in front of you. Okay, I need to be specific. For some of you, you may have a good ass job. Universe is gonna bring you a good ass opportunity. Okay, some of y'all who ain't got no jobs, universe is bringing two new jobs, two amazing opportunities. The Two of Pentacles is duality. The Two of Pentacles is having fun. It's being flexible. It's like you know that seesaw, right? That that okay? Then you know I'ma work my nine to five, and then I'ma do my side gig, and then I'ma buy me a house instead of worrying about my parents' house. Parents's. Yes, I did say parents's. Anyway, but I feel like um, they're, you know, opening with the Two of Wands, closing with the Two of Pentacles. 
it's almost like in the beginning you're looking for some sort of guidance on your next step and your next path universe is like listen don't walk by sight walk by faith right somebody left that in the comments um damn sure don't walk by fear okay all right um but i feel like with the star card and the wheel of fortune it's almost like whatever it is it what if you're at a crossroads and you're like okay do i continue down this route which is the same route that i've been on for the last two years or do i try this new route where i'm just doing me universe is like do you do you right um i think you're gonna have a lot of fun the king of wands queen of pentacles queen of pentacles knight of cups the chariot then also the two of, two of pentacles in other words the cards around this king of wands are good cards i feel like the king of wands is representing excitement right and passion it's almost like you're you're reigniting your passion because now that you've let go of that baggage those bad habits you done pulled yourself up out of people's lives sky's the limit nothing but a yellow brick road in front of you <laughs> you're off to see the wizard <laughs> i love that yeah the devil with the three of cups you know be careful about overdoing it right the devil does represents represent like you know overindulging you know what i mean it's like uh, just obsessing and addictive and going overboard just be careful about that scorpio be careful about overdoing it oh child accept help these are my moonology messages yeah my moonology messages cards yeah i kind of feel like some of you are all work no play mm, child that's your card scorpio transformation moon magic ew you have the star card here twice right the star with the fool that's all aquarius um, and Aquarius is the wanderer, you know, the explorer, you know, the water bear bearer. Um, and Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, which is the card, which is the planet of spontaneity, right? Uranus is the monkey wrench planet, right? In other words, Uranus will either surprise you or shock the shit out of you. <laughs> right it's funny that eclipses with the moon and the sun it's like the eclipses really should be with Uranus because Uranus and the eclipses are like the same energy support mm -hmm. let somebody help you go for it nice so you got three twos which is six and you got three sixes which is 18 again eight and one is nine um mm, 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 no i ain't saying that <laughs> my angels was like well with the three twos that's six and with the three sixes that's nine so you got six nine okay so <laughs> but six nine is is um the cancer symbol right um cancer season is gonna be huge for you scorpio get ready I feel like um, you might be in the mood for love. I feel like for a lot of y'all, the yellow brick road is your heart. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like what you, whatever you've been praying for, um, you're about to, you're about to receive the, an answer to your prayer. But I feel like the universe, like if this is the answer to your prayer universe is going to want you to you know kind of still do your part so you guys can kind of quote unquote intercept now i have the two of cups three of cups and the um knight of cups here i, I feel like some of y'all are on your way to some sort of equally yoked um soul mate um emotional connection right again it could be a person or it could be falling in love with a new health regimen or working out or charity work or um, healing or, you know, helping people. It could be anything. 
June is going to be phenomenal for you, for you, Scorpio. All right, Boo Cool, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.